up YouTube? This is No More Op For. Welcome to my channel where we talk about guns, gear, bushcraft, and hunting. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Today I just wanted to do a quick video on fitting the MD Arms 20 round drum into your Sega 12 gauge. The magazine does come with instructions on how to fit test the gun and they do have a video up on their website but I did want to put out just a little bit of a higher quality video. It was kind of difficult to see some of the internal parts when changing the surface of the drum magazine. And if you're like me, you're a little bit paranoid, especially when you spend $90 on something, that you might remove too much material in any do-it-yourself process. So I'm putting this video out there just to help make the process a little bit easier, and I've included some great pictures and video to help you fit your drum perfectly. The first step I recommend is taking the top cover off and using a factory magazine and play with it for a few minutes to understand how the factory magazine fits and inserts into the firearm. The first surface you want to pay attention to is this surface here to see how it fits flush into the gun. The second surface you want to pay attention to is where the magazine release catches on to the underside of the magazine. Now we'll take the MD Arms drum magazine and the first area we're going to check for fit is corner A, which is this corner right here. If there's too much material on corner A, the magazine will not fit flush against the receiver. This is what the magazine looks like flush against the receiver. The magazine will look something like this against the receiver if it's not flush due to corner A's interference with the inside of the firearm. If your magazine fits flush like it's doing so here, you are finished fitting. There's nothing that you'll need to do to go and shoot your MD Arms drum. However, if it isn't flush, we'll start by modifying corner A. To modify corner A, simply take your file and remove material from that surface so that it looks like modified corner A from the instructions. If that is not sufficient, you'll need to remove material from surface A, which is this surface here. If after modifying corner A and surface A, the magazine sits flush, but the magazine release is still not catching, you'll need to perform fit check B. A word of caution here, make sure not to skip step A. If you skip step A and try to account for it with removing material from surface B, you can potentially remove too much material and cause failure of the rear mag catch and potentially change the feed angle of the drum. Very few people need to do step B. The magazine release should fit and catch just underneath surface B. If surface B is too long, you will need to remove material from that surface. This surface here is surface B and that's where you'll need to remove material in order so that it clears the mag catch. The mag catch locks in place underneath this surface. In my case, the magazine did fit flush against the receiver without having to modify corner A or surface A, so I did actually have to only make modifications to surface B. To modify surface B, take your file against the surface, keeping it flush as you don't want to round any edges, remove a small amount of material, and check for fit often. Again, check frequently in between removing material for fit check B. Once it locks into place, you're good to go. You can see here, there's no play in the magazine whatsoever. It's a very tight fit, and that means reliability. That's it for this video, guys. Hopefully this was informative and will help you fit your MD Arms 20 round drum magazine into your Sega 12 gauge. It's a lot of fun to shoot, makes it a really reliable firearm. Stay tuned for more videos on the Sega 12 itself. I'm going to do a conversion of this in the coming months and I will include a detailed process as I convert my Sega 12 while keeping it compliant. As always, stay safe. This is No More Op For. I'm out. Works. 
Please be sure to rate and comment on the video you just viewed. For more videos on guns, gear, bushcraft, and hunting, subscribe by clicking the channel icon. You can also see a link to my last video as well as a preview to my next video. The link will go live once the video is posted. Thanks for subscribing to No More Op4's YouTube channel.